Well, except I'm really delighted to introduce Melanie, Peter and Elena, who are going to kind of talk us through their work that they've been doing with Hobbiton College. So in 2018, Hobbiton is 250 years old. Now that might sound a bit strange because we also say that we are the newest Cambridge College, having been made a full college in 2010. But actually our origins go back to Homerton in North East London, that's where we got the name from. And in 1768, a plot of land was purchased and Homerton Academy was founded for training dissenting ministers. In the middle of the 19th century, Homerton's purpose changed to what they called a kindred vocation which was the training of teachers. And then in the late 19th century, the whole institution up sticks, moved over the Christmas holidays up the road to Cambridge, where it took over some buildings which are already there as part of a previous institution called Cavendish College, and has been settled in Cambridge and really a world-renowned educational institution ever since. So reflecting on our history, the college thought, well, we want to have something which represents our archival holdings and the history of the institution as part of those anniversary celebrations. And this came to me at the Archive Working Group and our archivist, Svetlana Patterson, who's been uh, another member of the group of us working on this project. And we thought, what about if we commissioned an artist to work with our collections to create some new works that were specific to Homerton's heritage, to our architecture and our ethos as an institution? And we were absolutely, fantastically fortunate to be put in touch with Eleanor, who I think has been the perfect person to work with on this project. Someone whose own artistic work is very much responsive to research. Um, someone who's been interested in the kind of things which we as a college have been promulgating now for over two centuries. So... Earlier this year, Elena and Svetlana, our archivist, went into our collections and they went looking in all the students' own work, so anything from their notebooks to their needlework to their sporting equipment. All of these things have been drawn on as inspiration for the project. And a few key themes and a few key people really emerged. So one theme is the idea of care, and associated with that health and well-being as things which have been really at the core of what Homerton has been trying to do ever since it's certainly been in its current Cambridge location. And um, two of the key figures who have emerged as absolutely crucial but also fascinating in different ways in how they related to those themes of care, health and well-being are now highlighted as part of our exhibition. One of whom is Maud Cladley Brereton and the other, of course, is Leo Manning. So out of all of this archival work and investigation mainly by Peter into the history of these two figures, has arisen a fantastic site-specific art and archive installation. In three parts of the college site, we have installed metal sculptures, rope sculptures, printed fabric, paper craft, um, different kinds of parts of archival material. So whether that's reproduced photographs or actually some of those lacrosse sticks and hockey sticks and hoops. And in fact, I was talking to some of our former members of the college this morning and one of them said, I think that's my lacrosse stick on the wall. Of course. And she had to run over and peer at it to see if she could see her name <laughs> scratched on the handle. So it's been a wonderful experience for me and for lots of people in the college to think in a different way about our history and to see how this kind of artistic work can respond to particular places 
um, and then can help us rethink those places in the situation of the artworks within the different parts of the college. Um, so in one of the older buildings, one of the newer buildings, and also in the grounds of the college, different parts of Eleanor's artwork help us reorient the axis around which we experience the college. And for me, anyway, I think it's been a fantastic example of how this kind of artwork can help shape our relationship with place and through sculpture really, I think, enhance the architectural spaces of the college.